Hello everyone, I'm Jensen, your digital content producer. It is Monday, August 17th, and I'm about to get you all caught up on today's top headlines. So, today we're going to talk a little bit about the Democratic National Convention and an unfortunate update to a shooting last night in central Toledo. But before we dive too deep into anything, let me get you all caught up on the latest coronavirus data. Now, in the last 24 hours, there have been 775 new cases of the virus reported in the state compared to the 21-day average of 1,137. There have been just six deaths reported in that same time frame compared to the average of 23. Hospitalizations are at 83 new admissions since yesterday compared to the average of 97. And ICU admissions are right at the 21-day average at 15. So right now, things are looking pretty good, but of course, we'll be checking throughout the week to see if these awesome-looking trends are continuing. Continuing. But a little bit of good news for local library lovers. All Toledo Lucas County Public Library locations are now back open for in person use, of course, with some restrictions. So now you can go inside and get limited computer and Wi Fi access, and you can browse again, but again, that's a little bit limited as well. And all those cool new things the library was doing, like curbside pickup and book bundles, well, those are going to continue as well, which is exciting because I just ordered my first book bundle. So well, you know how it is. If you do choose to go to the library in person, things will look a little bit different as a number of safety measures have been put into place. All staff and customers over the age of two are required to wear masks. If you have a medical exemption, you're asked to reach out to the library through phone or email or their chat feature because some locations have accommodation spaces for computer use, so good to know. The number of people allowed in library buildings will be limited to provide safe social distancing. You're asked to limit your visit to one hour to make room for other customers who may be waiting. Computer access is available in one hour sessions at all locations. Children 12 and under need a responsible person 16 years of age or older with them at all times. And the main library will be temporarily limiting browsing to the historic court, media, and new materials areas. There will not yet be access to fact and fiction, business and workforce, a children's library teen or studio lab. Local history access is available by appointment at 419-259-5200. And staff will of course be happy to retrieve materials from any area of the library for you. And of course, beyond books, there are movies and CDs and digital downloads. So there are a ton of ways that you can utilize the library. But St. John's is cracking down on social distancing even during outside of school events. School leaders sent a letter home to parents telling them that their kids aren't allowed to attend in-person classes for 10 days if they were at this large gathering that apparently happened in Sylvania over the weekend. The school received information about a large gathering that included students from a number of area schools on Saturday. School leaders say students could be subject to disciplinary action if they're identified as having gone to that gathering and still choose to attend school. And in addition to barring students from in-person instruction. The restriction also applies to St. John's athletics and other extracurricular activities. The school's athletic director sent a letter of his own home to parents that said all workouts and practices on Monday were canceled and they would continue to be canceled until all the athletes who were at that gathering reported themselves. Plus, if another incident like this happens again, that the whole sports season for the fall could be canceled. So they're not taking this lightly. St. John's is actually one of the first schools in the area to welcome students back to the building and they were trying to do so carefully. Like students are supposed to wear masks unless they're in lunch and they get their temperature taken at the door as they arrive. So they really are trying to keep the school a safe space to be. Now onto some tragic news out of our area. A 15-year-old boy is now dead after he was shot last night in central Toledo. And this comes just one day after a 17-year-old was shot and killed in south Toledo. So the latest shooting happened around 9.45 p.m. in the 600 block of Pinewood. Police say they arrived at the scene to find 15-year-old Justin Hughes suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He unfortunately died from those wounds at around 3 o'clock this morning. And police are still investigating and are trying to piece together exactly what happened last night. So if you know anything, you're asked to call Crime Stopper at 419-255-1111. But switching gears a little bit and looking ahead nationally, tonight is the first night of the Democratic National Convention and Ohio's former governor John Kasich is set to speak. You can watch that all on WTOL.com right now.